I am Julie Wallace, and I graduated from Somerset High School in the wonderful class of 1988. That's when, you know, the Walkman was getting to be a big thing, and <laughs> we were actually getting to take music with us places and things like that, and getting our cars and all of that. So I guess the one thing that I remember the most is Camaros, because my brother and I both had a Camaro. <laughs> And so that was that was a fun thing to have and do, but um, we were, I guess, in my little group that, that ran together really into the rock and roll. So Def Leppard, Scorpions, Van Halen, you know, the, all the started off as cassette tapes, and then I think we actually started getting CDs towards the end of that time. <laughs> I, when I think of our class of 1988, I really don't feel like we were that close. But then when I think about, you know, the times that we shared and, you know, all of us connecting on Facebook since then and everything, I'm like, well, we were pretty close. So it's kind of, it's kind of a unique blend, I think. And, and I don't know, maybe this is not unusual, but we were close and supportive of each other. But I feel like everyone had their own identity and we were we were we weren't afraid to be unique and different and do our own things so that was kind of uh, i guess the gist i don't know if everybody else would agree with me but <laughs> what i felt both of us was like um well i definitely had a favorite teacher my favorite teacher was different than my favorite subject but um mr jones was my favorite teacher i used to call him daddy jones because he was just always very caring and you know it was more than just what you're learning in the classroom but it was also trying to help you um, be more successful at extracurricular events and things like that but he taught um, I'm trying to remember I, uh, computer science for sure but I think he also taught math and algebra and all of that good stuff um, my favorite subject I have to say was biology <laughs> so, I know already mentioned that but um, yeah I loved biology and I loved being in the FFA, Future Farmers of America, and uh, learning welding, that was fun. You know, I started off thinking I was gonna go to medical school and ended up uh, getting a PhD instead and doing a little bit of, of research. I actually went to the University of Texas at San Antonio and earned my bachelor's and master's and then started on a PhD program in neurobiology and about my third year in, I discovered that I absolutely was not the person to do animal research. I was almost in tears <laughs> every day when I was, even though they were just rats that I was dissecting. It was, it was, it was a learning experience. And then I had the opportunity to go into uh, the health and wellness fitness industry for a while and discovered that that was definitely one of my biggest passions. And so I always say I played in the fitness industry for like 10 years because <laughs> uh, that's really what it felt like. I got to travel around and compete and do photo shoots and all kinds of stuff. So that was that was a super fun time. Probably not the most productive time. To <laughs> uh, you know, didn't always make the amount of money that I could if I got a real job, but that's okay. It was fun. Um, but then I ended up um, with that kind of sports and exercise path, I ended up in Ohio eventually and went to the, um, to the Ohio State University and discovered that I could do the programs that I was doing with individuals. I started doing worksite interventions to help people eat healthier, exercise, all of that stuff. And I discovered that I could actually do those programs for my dissertation, which usually in PhD programs, you end up stuck with whatever the uh, principal investigators research topic is <laughs> so you don't always get to do what you want to do but um, I did that and it ended up taking a little bit longer and switching gears a little bit but I ended up with my PhD from the Ohio State University <laughs> in 2011 and it ended up being in educational psychology which is basically getting to what I'm doing now while I was in the PhD program I started teaching as a graduate teaching associate and then I uh, got a job teaching biology at Columbus State Community College. And then I kind of just got stuck back teaching biology <laughs> because I did discover that it's still truly a passion of mine. So I always kind of try to, to meld together my fitness and nutrition and health passions with biology because they actually go pretty well hand in hand. So, um, so now I just currently teach as a college 
professor teaching biology. I teach uh, adjunct at a couple of different colleges, but one of my favorites was before I moved from Arizona, um, teaching microbiology at a nursing college. So that was one of my favorite subjects, but biology has always been near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Um, well, the first one kind of gets into what I was saying about the, one of the good things about Somerset being small and you can do everything. So my first suggestion is to try it all. Try everything that you even remotely think you might have an interest in while you're in high school because you can really start to learn what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. And then you don't have to waste time in the real world <laughs> trying to figure out what you enjoy. So that was my first one. Um, second one was get outside. I don't know if you know, the smaller towns, it's uh, less media driven <laughs> like it is in the cities, but enjoy the fact that you are out in nature and so close to it. I did I did jot down a little note of don't forget to watch out for the rattlesnakes. I think that's one of my most <laughs> memorable times from going out to get my horse and all of a sudden I hear <laughs> and I'm like, ah! <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so that's the second one. Third one, I mean, this one's kind of Pollyanna, probably a lot of people say it, but my third one is be nice. Um, like I mentioned, our class, we were all really supportive of each other. And I know how mean, for lack of a better word, <laughs> kids can be or uh, judgmental, you know, about people that are different from them, but be nice and supportive. Uh, my, my last point about that is once you finish high school, you're gonna, it's just gonna get busier and busier from there. So you're not gonna have all of that time to build those connections and and really kind of understand what it is to, to have friends and be supportive and all that good stuff. I mean, you'll have some if you go to college, but it's, it's not the same as high school. And then my fourth one, okay, this is my big one, is if you do go to higher ed of any type, be cautious with getting student loans because it's so easy to get in a lot of debt really quickly so with that, you want to just work hard, buckle down. I know you can have your fun. You'll have your fun. Don't worry. I'm not worried about that fitting in there, but work hard, be frugal. Um, you want to be able to start working on building your perfect life or your ultimate life, your fun life when you finish college, instead of having to work about, worry about working two or three jobs to pay off your student loans. Um, because your first, second, maybe even third, job probably aren't going to pay what you think they're going to pay <laughs> so <laughs> plan ahead um, and you can be one of the responsible ones.